Hi there guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today it's um, a bit of a different video. Um, I'm just um, doing a little flip through of my May day book. Um, as some of you may know, I've been experimenting for the spring and summer with um, using a traveller's notebook, uh, which I made and doing different insert for each month. So we've gone through March and April and this, with a real right of colour, is my day book for May. Um, so I thought I'd have a, do a quick flip through of it and a little share because um, what I've done with this is um, I've filled it with some bits and pieces from my fabric stash that I've decided to um, finally get myself organised enough to do a share of. So I've put together some packs of um, linens and uh, fabrics which I'll go through but some of them I've actually used in here so you can see what you can do with um, with a little pack. Okay so that's the pack there but I just thought we'd start off with the actual um, book because um, I've decided to go for a real right of colour this time for May and um, I've used, um, is this the, I think it's the last Daphne's diary. It's the last Daphne's diary. This is on the inside cover, I think. Um, and I pulled it out because I loved it. And I was going to use this side because I loved the rose with the warm colours. And then once I'd actually got it together, I really liked this side. I liked the, the white and the, just a little pop of green and red. So I decided... Um, to pull some of the laces out that I've used from other projects and actually just decorate it with that. So that's the cover. So, um, yeah. And I've layered the laces as you can see. So let's try and stay in frame. So to start with, um, I basically um, popped out this page here from the uh, Daphne's Diary Diary. Uh, that's for the month of May and then I'll just do really real quick just little bullet notes here on each day um, and then I've just used a little bit of the um, it's some of that it's vintage tablecloth I put together I put together and um, yeah so this is uh, yeah so this is a little little piece that all I've done is I've, I've taken it to bits and I've cut it apart and I've just inked it up with um, some Tim Holtz worn lipstick it's called um, and this one this is uh, this little card here is from um, Rosie at Our Atelier and uh, she does one of these uh, little pack now for the whole year but if you get her monthly ephemera box you get one for that month so this is for May and this is for this year and I love it. This was just a card that I had in my stash and I trimmed it with that beautiful lace. Um, so I also picked up um, a roll of vintage uh, wallpaper which is absolutely gorgeous and I've decided to use it in this. Um, so what I've done here is I've done a little flip. I've used another little one of those um, um, little florals. And basically opened that, popped a little card in from my stash just for a little bit of writing space if you can see and then this is a little bit de um, de uh, oh what's it called not decoupage piece clip art oh I can't remember what it's called now anyway it's just from the works I'll pop that in there this background here is Daphne's diary um, this is from the works again from the little pack um, that I, I picked up and I've laid it with that and uh, this little is from Daphne's diary it's from the the top of this beautiful picture here which I've popped in I absolutely love it and I basically just trimmed off the edge and used it on the side there and then I've just laid it with some fabric some gorgeous sort of that curtain fabric if you can see little scraps of lace from projects I've been looking at doing um, recently this here is the is that a colouring page? It was a colouring page from Daphne's diary from the same and um, on this side and if you can see it, it open, actually opens up it's gorgeous and I thought I actually might even do a bit of colouring I'm not sure 
I'll have the time, but I like the thought of it anyway. Well, I like the thought of doing a bit of colouring in there. Um, yeah, and you just sort of did a bit of layering with that. Um, layering again. This um, page was from, um, I've done some layering, but it was from my Kath Kidston book of vintage fabrics, which I absolutely love. And I use quite a bit of it in my scripture notebook, but I've used it, um, it here. And I've actually just taken a page out of um, the Mrs. Cogs uh, paper clip embellishment um, and just done this little flip. No, it's not a little flip, it's some, this isn't vintage, this, um, it's in my stash, but I've got a tiny bit of it. But I love this fabric and um, what she does with the paper clips is, if you watch her, um, really easy tutorial that she, she, she did basically curls the ends of her paper clips and then embellishes and it just makes such a difference and that's the other side if you curl that side there and uh, she um, I think said she got the inspiration from Tracy Fox um, to do that but it looks absolutely gorgeous and I love it absolutely love it and some of the um, fabrics in this pack uh, you'll be able to use to do little tab um, little embellishments like that should you choose Daphne's diary and the other thing that you might see that I've got recently is some paper punches and I'll be using those a lot in projects over the next few months so I've just take, taken a little bit out there just to do uh, cover some text this is a little bit from the Daphne's diary it's all about different uh, flowers so I left the texting because I love it it's just about um, what your choice of flowers say about your personality just a fun thing really just a fun thing um that's from that um oh works little pad that i got this is from my stash just on, on there beautiful this is from the the um this page here at the back was from the kath kidston book and that was from the uh, the works little pad which has been really useful. That's from the works pad as well. And this is from Paper Chase, I think. Um, this beautiful washi. And uh, this lovely, uh, this is from my vintage floral, I think, vintage floral collection that I did in January. Got quite a bit of it left. So I've popped a little, um, little bit in this pack here to share. Um, but I love it, I love it. And on the back there, I've just popped a little one of those little single um, florals. This was a little, hmm, there's some greeting cards I picked up in the charity shop. Uh, but as, I don't know about where you are, but in Oxfordshire, bluebells are pr prolific at the moment and they're absolutely gorgeous. So I thought for my May book that the, bl the bluebell card would be appropriate. Bit of Edith Holden paper and some of my punch outs as you can see I went a bit mad and uh, that's the other side of that Edith Holden paper just love the colours love the colours on that I don't know if I've got the other side did I put it yeah the other side it's just here and then it's got on that side there May you can see that it's still on the frame makes a change for me uh, Daphne's diary a little bit from a, a paper chase, mm, paper chase or Waterstones purchase from a few months ago. But I just love how fun those that, that is. How fun is that? This is from a Victorian themed diary that I've just been working with in uh, my latest projects. We'll see on the other side of that beautiful colouring page from Daphne's diary popped in there. And this is from a book um, of poems a book called Seasons, which I have, and I've used quite a lot of, and I've got another one that I'm going to pop in my shop. I'll pop in the shop over the next uh, week or so from Destashing Books too. Daphne's Diary. That was from Daphne's Diary, and I just love, I just love that picture. And um, I found this piece of lace, this piece of trim in my stash, and I thought it went really well. Just uh, stapled in. And a little tip to say, if you want to add fabric to your um, something you've created already or something that you've bought, just staple it in, it'll be fine if you haven't got a chance to, to sew. And you can easily find, I get mine on Amazon or some of the local cheapy shops, just coloured staples. And that just makes 
it makes a really nice pop of colour if you've got some coordinating or contrasting colour for your staples. That's from that Seasons book, on the other side, how beautiful is that? That reminds you of country picnics in the summer. Um, some stamp, oh yes I've just got a, oh yes I did that on that side. And that just opens up there and I popped a postage stamp in there. And I did this one. Now that's a thing, I get a bit fiddly, don't they? There we go. And I popped a little bit of that trim on there and I thought it looked really nice on this page. I wanted to position it just there like so. How sad am I? Right, so there you go. Uh, well, I found when I've been experimenting with these day books, Welcome to May, if you can see that. That's from Daphne's diary, how pretty it is. Um, but I tried to cut down the number of pages that I've used this month because I don't use them all. Um, because I put my notes, the daily notes in and some of my sort of daily scripture verses. Um, but anyway, so this is one of, um, this is from the pack. This is a huge tablecloth that I picked up recently. It's embroidered. And um, I've, I've cut them apart, cut them apart, and what I've done is I've tea dyed one, tea dyed some, and I've left some to the plain, so you get one of each in the pack. But that's just how I've used it on there, and I'll show you. I think I did a little bit of my scripture journal. In fact, I've done a video, uh, a video share of me starting to work with that, and uh, oh, that was the same. Actually, it wasn't a white one but I just did a little collage on the inside of my scripture journal there using one of those pieces and I really liked it and I also I did a few tabs as well but you'll see that in the other video should you wish to pop it on the playlist and uh, so yes that's pinned onto the Cath Kidston paper on the other side of the um, oh I can't remember what that's called anyway the little pad from the works it's beautiful isn't it absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous there we go, and that's the same, one of these, and I've just doubled it up, it's from the tea dyed, I just doubled it up and uh, stuck it, uh, glued it together, and that's just on that little pin there which you can take out. You could do, move anywhere in your book, in your creation. Daphne's Diary again, with one of my, um, this is a tab, not tab, tag, punch out. And that's the other side of that floral book, which I think is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, floral page. Um, Daphne's Diary, as you know. Just some paper for my stash. And I must just say, I was going to bring it out to show you, but I've got some new distress inks from Tim Holtz. I'm adding to my... Look at my hands. I'm so sorry, they're so dry. I'm adding to my stash. And this one... It's called Worn Lipstick, I think if you can see, and I've used it all the way through um, this creation because I think it goes really nicely. It picks up this gorgeous, warm, salmon-y, pinky colour. And uh, yeah, Worn Lipstick it's called. If you want something a bit brighter, that's one to add to your collection. That's from uh, the Kath Kiston book. I love it. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I paired it with the Daphne's Diary, the postage stamp and my little pin and then finally there was this, um, it was a lovely page but it had quite a bit of text on it but I really liked, I loved the teacups and the little edging there so I kept that and then I just did a little flip um, some lace and a fabric flip um, from oh, that beautiful those beautiful curtains, I don't think I've used them in a project yet but, and then I just did a little collage underneath, a little bit of layering really, um, which I really like. And I think it looks really nice with the bit of texture there. And there's a piece of this, uh, this fabric in here. In fact, I might have time to show you now. Might have time to show you now. Okay. And then, what did I do here? Last bit of the wallpaper. I've just done a little bit of layering underneath here. 
So that is, oh, I'm filming outside thinking it would be a bit peaceful, so I'm starting with a, with a saw. Huh, there you go. So that's the um, my May day book. Might just have a bit of time to go through the pack. Um, so, this is what I've popped together. Um, I've actually just decided to put some wallpaper in as well, um, in each pack. So this is a little mini, uh, like a, um, so that's the fabric, not the fabric, the wallpaper print. A bit of gold on it, it's beautiful. Here's a vintage wallpaper, I just picked the one roll up in the local charity shop. And so I've popped some of that in. Um, I would say I've done them the different sizes, this, uh, but I've tried to stick no less than 25 by 25, so they're about 25 by 30, um, but they're all about the same size, okay? So that's the wallpaper, and I've popped, let's take it to bits. So in this little bundle, you get um, a couple of pieces of, well, three of these, which you can keep together if you wanted or whatever. But I've, so one's plain, one's actual, the other one's is from the same piece, but it's tea dyed. Okay, um, this, these two, these four pieces were from the same tablecloth, which I took to bits and absolutely love, I adore. Um, so they're hexagonal, these ones. So I've done the same again. So you've got one white and then one tea dyed. And uh, the same again here, you have one of the little center pieces uh, white and tea dyed and then the um, slightly different sizes for all of these and I can't guarantee what the pattern what the print's going to be I've got five sets and I'll just basically send them out as I go so um, just to manage your expectations so this is um, one of the little pieces so it feels quite rayony this one which I love you might recognise this from, um, this is the oh, Chrysanthemums and Lilies, and this is the William Morris Sanderson's. A bit of piece from that. This one was a little piece that I picked up from a um, charity shop just recently, and I did do a, a haul video with that in. This uh, is that, uh, the chintz that I absolutely love. Um, that's like a Piece of that chintz and you get all sorts of different pattern repeats on that this one here has the roses uh, has the roses on it as well as the hydrangeas it has hydrangeas on it too so some will have hydrangeas on it and this one is from the vintage floral collection that I use this is more of a, a, a lighter cottony feel to it not so heavy as the others so that's what you get in the pack um, as I say, there'll be different patterns on each one and slightly different sizes as well. Um, well that gives you an idea. So these I think you could use for tabs. Um, you could use for tabs, you could use for um, pockets, you could use even to layer if you wanted to pop a picture on the front of a journal and use them to layer. And um, I thought, as I said, I popped... Is that as many as I remember. Let me just check again in my head. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six on the wallpaper. So yes, so there will be free shipping in uh, for UK. Um, let me just show you. So that's uh, yeah. So again, I, oh, try not to, try not to. So again, it's slightly different sizing, but you can just see how the patterns differ. Okay, but I will just be pulling them out and sending them out as they're ordered. All right. So I hope you enjoy this, and um, if you like this idea, I'll see how it goes. I'm quite happy to start putting together bigger packs. Uh, a, a larger packs of fabric so uh, for journal covers and so on if, if that's you know if you'd like me to do that just let me know so take care guys I do hope you've enjoyed this um, I am going to be uh, I'm sorting out the postcards as well vintage postcards pop in the shop as well as books so keep an eye take care thank you very much bye bye bye